Hello, this is Mr. Bus, and in this video, I'm going to run the uh, leaf disc photosynthesis lab where, you, where we are taking spinach leaves, and we're going to determine what the rate of photosynthesis is in um, various light conditions. So that'll be our independent variable. I've got a, a lamp over here set up, and I've got a kind of a container to put some leaf discs in a darker condition. So we'll, we'll test the effect of the light and dark conditions on the rate of photosynthesis. Uh, we will have to basically um, use the hole punch and hole punch out a bunch of pieces of the leaf discs. They're gonna float naturally because uh, there's air inside the leaf. Um, and so we'll have to remove the air and submerge it. And so we'll start with a bunch of leaf discs that are sunken and then as they, uh, over time, they might float if uh, photosynthesis is occurring because as a byproduct of photosynthesis, we're gonna have oxygen gas being produced. So the oxygen gas bubbles should make the leaf discs rise if photosynthesis is occurring. So I've got a, a piece of paper for the data and all right, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make up the bicarbonate water. I'm gonna take, uh, I have tap water already and I have 300 mils of tap water, and I already weighed out three grams of sodium bicarbonate. I'm just gonna add that. Okay, and then I'm uh, also then I'm gonna stir that up a little bit. So the purpose of the bicarbonate is to add a lot of carbon dioxide. Uh, as you know, in photosynthesis, um, we need carbon dioxide and water and light for the reaction to occur. So here's the water. The bicarbonate adds a, a large amount of carbon dioxide. Now, we're also gonna add a little bit of detergent. And the reason we're adding detergent, even though it's not part of the photosynthesis equation, it's not one of the reactants, uh, the reason I'm adding the detergent is I wanna reduce hydrogen bonding. I wanna reduce the surface tension because we are dealing with um, whether or not something is floating or sunken in the water and as we know from previous labs, we can float a paper clip on top of water because of surface tension. So I wanna eliminate that surface tension a little bit. So, all right, my bicarbonate water is all set. Looks like it's kind of already bubbly a little bit. I'm gonna probably let that sit a little bit before I use it. And I'm gonna prepare the leaf discs. Sometimes they're called leaf chads also. Um, I'll just call them leaf discs. So I'm gonna make uh, two piles and for my two different setups, my two different cups, I'll make a pile of 20. I'll make two different piles of 20. Okay, I ended up doing uh, two piles of 25. And now I'm going to get the leaf discs to uh, sink, put them in the containers, and then I'll run the experiment over time. So I'll load them up into the syringe. Okay, put the plunger in, try not to crush them. Pull up some bicarbonate water. Remove the air. Okay, pull back. So now you can see they're, they're floating and I want them to sink. So I'm gonna pull back, shake, and push water in. Now all the leaf discs are sunk. Put them in one of the beakers or the containers. Top it off with some bicarbonate water, put it in dark condition while I get the next one set up. Okay, now they're all sunk. Set up the next container. Okay, now I'm gonna run the experiment 
I'm gonna double check that there aren't any floating in the dark condition. There are two, so I'm gonna remove them. Double check that there aren't any floating in this condition. There were two. All right, so now I'm gonna run one of these in the light and one of them in the dark. There we go. I'm gonna start the timer and start to record the data. At time zero, I had zero floating in the light and zero floating in the dark condition. So we're at about minute five and just wanted to show that the leaf discs are starting to rise. So that'll be the first one that went from sunken to floating. You can actually even see little air bubbles on it. There's the second one. So there's numbers actually five, six, and seven. So that's our 12th uh, leaf disc, and we're at eight minutes. And just double check here in the dark condition. Still don't have any floating. They're all sunk still. Okay, so that's the lab. It's all over. I ran it. I have all the data. So probably can use that in the write-up. If you're a distance learner and uh, you need access to that, go ahead and screenshot that and add that to your, uh, to your document. As you can see, all of the 23 leaf disks that were in the light are now floating. Every single one of them, right? And the ones that were in the dark, every single one of them is still sunk on the bottom. That was the leaf disk slab for uh, distance learners. Go ahead and uh, finish the write-up uh, graph. You're gonna you're gonna basically be graphing um, uh, each of these over time. Time is gonna be your uh, x-axis and number of leaf disks floating for light and then for dark. Obviously the dark is gonna not have much of a curve to it. Okay.